Welcome to East Coast LP Reviews today. I got another whiskey review. This is Glen Murray Speyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. This is the Elgin Classic Sherry Cask Finish. 40% uh, alcohol by volume or 80 proof. Uh, comes in this nice little box. Um, I believe I've already reviewed the regular Elgin Classic and the Elgin Classic Peated. Um, so, uh, gonna pop this open, go over the color. On the, uh, the back of the box says color, burnish gold. So, uh, definitely a lot darker. Um, actually in the glass it doesn't look much darker, but in the bottle it looks a lot darker. Um, but it, it's, uh, different from the original Elgin Classic. So it's kind of like a yellowish orange color. Um, so I believe this is six to seven years ex bourbon cask, and then it goes for nine to twelve months in a ex sherry cask. Um, no age statement on this one. Um, no age statement on the bottle, but I've actually like I've looked online. I kind of saw that. It spends six to seven years in the bourbon cask, and then they do um, nine to 12 months in the sherry cask for the finish. Um, yeah, nice color to it. Like I said, a little bit darker than the original Elgin Classic. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go for the aroma on this one. So on the nose, actually it has some tasting notes on the back. Just go over those quick before I start diving into this one. Um, so it says nose, bursting with dried fruit, cinnamon, and toffee candy. Taste, incredible layers of sweet vanilla oak, dark chocolate, and oriental spice. Finish, satisfyingly long with a tingle of spice. Um, but yeah, let's go for the aroma. So it's very fruity, kind of like the original Elgin Classic. So I'm getting like citrus, uh, malt. A little bit of spice. Um, for the dried fruits, I'm kind of picking up like raisins. Oh, but yeah, it's very light. These uh, Elgin Classics, Glen Murray Elgin Classics, are usually very light. Um, definitely a kind of uh, like a starter scotch. For someone who hasn't really tried scotch before, this is a great one to try out. Um, well, the Elgin Classic, the original one. Um, but yeah, like I said, very, uh, it's, uh, on the nose, very malty, fruity. But yeah, it actually smells really good. Um, not really much of an alcohol smell for 40%, so that's pretty good. Um, the fruitiness kind of covers up that alcohol. Very sweet, so I'm getting kind of the, um, the toffee. But uh, yeah, let's go for the taste on this one. Up front, you get the fruity, citrusy flavors. So kind of like like uh, oranges. It's very malty. Um, some vanilla in between as well. A very light palette. Um, nothing really jumping out on you, at you, I should say. Um, towards the finish, you get the spice. Um, so you're left with kind of like a cinnamon spice and some uh, some chocolate. You're getting a little bit of chocolate. Not a lot of chocolate, just like a nice, decent, dark chocolate on the finish. The citrus, so I'm getting the oranges on the taste as well. Um... Very malty on the palate. Raisins on the palate as well. Um, all these Elgin Classics are like really light. And for someone who hasn't really had scotch before, this is definitely a great one to check out. Um, I kind of wish I had a little bit more of an influence from the sherry. 
Um, but it's not too bad. Like I said, I really do like the uh, the chocolate you get on the finish. So I'm guessing like uh, that chocolate's coming from the sherry cask, and um, the vanilla and toffee's kind of coming from the the bourbon cask. Um, really not much spice. Um, if you sip it neat, um, it really doesn't have much of an alcohol bite to it. Um, it is fairly thin um, for being 40% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, I actually really enjoy this one. And for the price, so price on this was $25, 25 US dollars. And uh, I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, it is very light. Like I said, it's nothing really special. There's nothing amazing about it. And none of the flavor really kind of jumps out at you. Um, but you definitely get a nice, smooth, uh, sweet scotch for your money. I really like the amount of fruitiness I'm getting from this as well. So really what I'm picking up is the fruity... Um, the fruity flavor along with that chocolate finish and um, once I keep sipping it a lot more I'm, I'm actually getting a lot more of the chocolate on the finish rather than the spice um, So it's really not uh, it doesn't really burn too much Yeah, I mean I've had other uh, Sherry cast finished scotches and they were a lot better than this and I picked up a lot more of the flavors that you would get from the sherry cask um but like I said, for something for 25 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. Um, somebody who doesn't really like scotch um, probably wouldn't uh, would enjoy this. Um, there's no peat to it at all, so there's no smoke. Um, so there's really nothing offensive in the flavor that might uh, make someone not want to drink it. If you had someone who's never tried scotch before, try it. Um, So for a rating for this one, like I said, I'm actually uh, I'm pretty happy that I picked this up and I tried it out myself. Um, I could probably sip this all night. I probably have no problem. So uh, like I said, it's not amazing. Nothing really jumps out at you, but it's got some decent flavor to it and uh, nothing really offensive on the flavor. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And uh, like I said, I'm going to recommend this to somebody who um, maybe you've never tried a sherry cask finished scotch. Maybe you just kind of want to check out what other flavors you can get with the scotch when they start doing the different finishes, the different wine finishes. Um, this is a good one to try. Like I said, it's definitely not um, amazing, and you don't get a lot of the inf uh, the flavor from the sherry cask on the palate. Um, but it's just a little bit, and I think it's a nice addition to the traditional Elgin Classic. And um, I actually really like the Elgin Classic itself. Um, that's a very affordable bottle as well. That's probably like, I believe that's like $24. Um, so I got this for about like a dollar more. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm definitely uh, going to recommend it to somebody. Maybe if you want to try a scotch, if you never had scotch before. Um, I think you would really enjoy this one. Um, maybe uh, you tried bourbon or something. Or you tried... Uh, a peated scotch and maybe both of those were a little too strong for you and maybe you were kind of uh, put off by the taste by the amount of flavor you were getting from them um, and this is a nice light one light whiskey um, that I think would appeal to a certain crowd of people but uh yeah there you have it if there's any other liquor beers that you guys like to see on my channel Definitely leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and like your beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.